A team of Glasgow University geographers are using radar data from space to map which parts of the world are rising and which are sinking. So far they've assessed the effects of volcanoes and landslides. One day they might be able to predict earthquakes. Here's our science correspondent, Kenneth MacDonald. It's a fair bet that this particular piece of North Glasgow has never looked quite so spectacular. This is a 3D digital map of Mary Hill and its biggest supermarket. And this is the Mary Hill area and this is Tesco uh, store and this is Mary Hill Road and this is the uh, residential actually uh, area behind that. The 3D map has been built using photos taken from an aircraft, but at Glasgow University's School of Geographical and Earth Sciences, they're also looking at things from much higher up. Every day, satellites from several nations sweep our planet with radar. The Glasgow team are using that data to detect tiny changes as parts of the Earth's surface rise and fall. We take one radar image taken at a certain time, and then a few days later we take a, a second radar image. And between those um, two time periods we can detect um, elevation changes in the Earth's surface. So obviously that has many applications for um, earthquakes, volcanoes, um, but my particular project focuses on landslide movements. As here on the Yangtze River in China, where the technique is spotting landslips which may have been caused by the huge Three Gorges Dam. It also works on sudden disasters. In 2010, the Yushu earthquake killed around 3,000 people in northwestern China. Within hours of receiving the radar data, the leader of the Glasgow team was able to map the size of the quake accurate to within centimetres without leaving the office. It only took me, just a single researcher, two hours to produce this in, in the office. But it took our Chinese colleagues two weeks in the field to collect all the measurements, yes. The team's work may one day help predict disasters and help planners literally avoid pitfalls. Scotland may be without active volcanoes or major earthquakes, but there are always old mine workings. And that's why Dr Lee has discovered that his office and the entire university are sinking by almost a centimetre every year. Kenneth MacDonald, Reporting Scotland, Glasgow.